these people found a free TV outside of someone's dorm room and then they took the free TV and put it outside of their dorm room with a sign that says five dollars and it worked. So they just took a free situation and made money out of it. Genius, genius, genius. I mean, you're only making five dollars. Like, I don't think you can make a living off of this, but you can make a nice bar of chocolate out of it. These brownies are color coded. So you got the center, you got the corner, you got the edge. Some people don't like the edges because it gets too crispy and hard, but some people like the crispy because of texture. But now you can choose. Now it doesn't have to be a surprise or a shock when you don't get the brownie you like. The true way of eating a cupcake is beautiful, guys. My, my life has been changed. You know when you're eating a cupcake and then you got way too much icing on one side and way too much cake on the other side? It doesn't have to be like that. It could be a cupcake sandwich. Why do they don't make cupcakes like this? Because they're not as pretty like this. But you can just, you know, sandwich them up like pew. The gentleman's jerky is very gentlemanly. It even comes with floss. So if you've ever had jerky before, it gets stuck in your teeth. And you know, it's delicious and everything. Delicious. But like, you don't want to walk around all day with jerky in your teeth. Like people are like, oh, that person just had meat hanging out of their teeth. This happens to me whenever I eat kale chips. I wish kale chips came with floss. What's the fastest way from getting upstairs to downstairs? It's not the stairs. It's not even an elevator. It is a slide. Yep, you heard that right, a slide. Some places have slides. Why I haven't encountered these places makes me sad. But one day I will find a place like this and I will call it my home. I guess this would I guess this wouldn't work if it was a really tall building or it could might be a really fun slide. Imagine a slide that goes all the way down a skyscraper but it goes like in a spiral. Mm, it's a little scary. So when this store opens its door, that N moves to the other side. So this says open. So it either says nope, not open or open. I feel like nope is a little rude. It's like, nope, you're not allowed inside, but it's also kind of cool. These jeans just made the leap from fashion to function. Have you ever seen such classy looking jeans? Like, I feel like these jeans deserve a pinky to stick up in the air. From classiness, they're just like... I need some wine holder pants in my life. No, I don't. It just makes you sound like you have a problem. At first, it looks like this guy's knees made an indent in the chair. But then you realize the indents were already there. Now, I don't got this problem because I'm not very tall. I'm 5'5". Five five. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty like average height, I th say. People who are tall, I always see them sitting in, in seats, in, especially in planes, and their knees are crammed up against the seats. And it, it just looks really hella uncomfortable. And then I'm like, thank God I'm only 5'5". Five five. But then again, when I need to reach something on the top shelf, damn, I wish I was taller. So, you know, you know just depends on the circumstances. That, that I kind of wish I could change my height, you know, depending on like what I wanted. That would be awesome. Anyways, back deck to this picture. I get sidetracked too much. This is so handy. Like, why doesn't this exist in all seats? The seats really need to be flat on the back. Can't they just be like, oh, you, you, you for your feet? The seat coverings here show which seats are courtesy seats, AKA seats that you give up for people who are disabled or people who are old or people who have children. You know, the people who need the seats probably more than me and you do. And I think that's nice because little reminders like this will help remind people to do the kind thing. A lot of people struggle with parking. Why? Cause it's a little bit hard, maybe. Anyways, this would make it a lot easier. They drew the lines for the parking spots and they went up onto the railings. You know, so you don't have to like be like, oh, did I park in the lines? Because I guess it is hard to see. Did you park in the lines? But now you can actually physically see ahead of you and be like, not in the lines. Or you can be like, yes, in the lines. This genius person discovered how to make a brush multifunctional. Here we got a regular brush, but then you put a little, little, what do you call them again? Um, hair. Bobby pins, there we go, wow, I struggle. Into the makeup brush and it becomes a fan brush, which is great if you want your highlight to be on fleek. Speaking of makeup, I'm doing a giveaway. Look at how beautiful this is. You can't tell me you don't want these lip glosses. I wanna send this to one of you guys. I just actually got this from Tarte. I was in Costa Rica with them on this beautiful trip where they gave me all this makeup and I'm like, I need to share this with the Azzylanders. Like you guys need some of this love. So all you have to do to win is just make sure you're, you're subscribed to me. I want you guys to comment the word turtle in the comments. I'm gonna pick one of you guys to win this beautiful lip gloss. It is so cute, the packaging and all their products are animal cruelty free, which is a big bonus. They actually do so much for the environment 
and their products are very, very natural, which is a big bonus because so much stuff has so much chemicals in it. It's good to know that you're using a brand that's not bad for you. I'm gonna show you guys my Instagram stories. I didn't film a video for YouTube. It's all on my Instagram if you wanna see it, but I'll go through some of it with you right now. So here I was walking into the magical garden pool party thing that they had going on. They had all this food and events. There was a beautiful pool. The weather was always nice. Okay, here uh, I woke up and there was just a lizard there. Just a lizard chilling. He was massive, like this big. It scared me. Oh, I'm just trying to jump through the display. I think I almost knocked it over at this point, but shh. Oh, and then they took us zip lining. It was so scary and so much fun. Watch this, watch this. This is a free fall, so I'm like, gonna die, probably. Probably. I mean, I know what happens. You guys probably know what happens because I'm here. So I'm done. Okay, okay, okay. And, and then they let go of you and you just fall backwards. And for a moment, like you're like, you see your life flash before your eyes. I couldn't, I couldn't stand up. I, I'm clumsy, okay? These were some of the other awesome girls. Everybody was so amazing. Oh yeah, this was really uncomfortable. It was like, it just hurt this position. I felt like the blood was rushing to my head and I was like, regular zip lining much better than supermaning. Yeah, there was real alligators there. And apparently they hadn't been fed in a while. So this was another one of the events. Everything was so pretty. Like it was like, it just decorated it so nicely. It was just like, Mwah. This highlighter has a clear spot. So you can actually see where you're highlighting as you go along, like magic. There's a soap cannon at the car wash. Wait, is this real? Like, does the kid actually get to hit the, the cars with the soap? That's, that's amazing. I'm, I'm blown away. This person cosplayed as the convention that they went to. He was probably the one person who everybody knew who he was because everybody's there. You know, you cosplay as a character and somebody's like, eh, never seen that show. Everyone is at this convention. Everyone knows who you are. These are drawer handles, which are also ice cube trays. What a great use of space. Don't you find that there's never any space anywhere? I mean, my fridge always has a lot of space, cause... but other parts of my house, I'm like, I wish everything could be multifunctional. We have cereal flavored milk. Oh my God, this would probably make this cereal taste even better. I want, I want, I need, I have to have. These people had a surprise snowfall and they had no shovel, but they did have a rake. So they just made a shovel. Sometimes you just gotta make do. This cup has a mustache, Mush mustache, mustache. Mustache. Wow, can, am I saying this weird? It sounds weird coming out. Mustache guard. Mustache guard so that he his mustache doesn't get milk all over when he drinks his coffee. Amazing. These empanadas say chicken on them. And the veggie ones say veggie. And the beef ones say beef. So there's no surprise to what you're getting. If you're a vegetarian, you know which one to pick. Got two minutes? Of course you have. Grab a bucket and make a difference with a two minute beach clean. Fill up a bucket and we'll fill up your cup. I really like what this restaurant's doing. They're like, you know what? We'll give you a free cup of something, but just, you know, fill up a bucket full of garbage. It's sad that there's that much garbage that people can fill up buckets with it. Why are people littering beaches? I hate when you go somewhere beautiful and then you just see like cigarette butts on the floor and you're like, why would somebody do this? It's not easy getting the last pickle out. You always gotta shove your hand into the jar if the jar is even big enough for you to shove your hand in. But now they have this little contraption and when it gets really low, you just pull it up and pull the pickles out. Brilliant. And then the liquid doesn't get pulled out because it it's like has holes in it for the liquid. I love it. I love it. This girl found a brand new way to sneak snacks into the theaters by pretending she's pregnant. This is amazing. Kinda. Like, I mean, if you're okay with walking around pretending you're pregnant, does this work with dudes? Not as well. <laughs> Not as well. I mean, I'm sure nobody would question it, you know? Nobody would question a pregnant person, even if they're a dude. Because then you could just be like, I'm not pregnant. I've just been eating good. <laughs> Finally, a way to do it all in one trip. Holding bags sucks. This has like a little comfortable grip, and then you can hold like three at one time. If you're strong enough to hold three at one time. I'm not, but you probably are. I've seen this one before and it's brilliant. She used her goggles to take a shower, but then without ruining her makeup, because sometimes you got somewhere to be and you don't have time to redo your makeup. So you just gotta keep it on, but then maybe your hair's dirty or I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe somebody broke an egg on your head. You need to wash your hair. You don't want to ruin your makeup. This is the solution. The only thing that sucks is those little goggle lines around your face, but they'll go away. Like I'm sure in five minutes they're gone. Well, there you have it guys. People with genius ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.